Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I am your host, Mary Ellen. This is an episode of Thrifty Canucks and Thrifty Thursday. Thrifty Canucks is hosted by the charming and talented Kim at Images by Kim and Thrifty Thursday is hosted by the lovely and talented Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. Let us get after it. Um, so let us do fabric first, of which I have a couple of things. First piece of fabric is an off cut of quilting fabric, which is gorgeous. Um, Studio 37 Fabrics, Twilight Tones. Isn't that beautiful reds? Golly, I love them. There is a piece of, um, uh, glitter right there. Oh, I love this. I love this a lot. And there wasn't a lot of it. There was just the one. So I got the one. So we got that. Very happy with that. Next up, I uh, got some more basic cotton. And this is probably a yard meter. It's wide um, and it has a piece cut out which looks like it was a sleeve or maybe a yoke or something not entirely sure but in any event um, this is perfect and this might actually replace what I had as an idea for um, a zine because I think the um, uh, echo dyed and echo printed fabric will go much better on this. I'm not decided yet. And the last piece of fabric, uh, I am getting very good at finding these. And the uh, there was somebody the last time I ha found one knew instantly what I had found, and without further ado. This is another Liberty Art Fabric shirt, which is Liberty Fabric. It's quite beautiful. And so this is a shirt that I'm gonna cut down eventually. It has got, um, I was gonna say pleats, not pleats. Uh, darts, there we are, that's the word. Um, and I have no problem taking these out. They won't, not a hindrance at all. A bit of a bother, but not a hindrance. Uh, next up, this 100 sheets of 65 pound 176 GSM paper. Um, could not pass that up. That's, uh, that's pre-cut for all of our journaling needs. So I'll have that. Uh, and now we're down to books. Needed another Nancy. I The last book that I used had a... Um, this was blue. And I am not sure which is earlier or later. I have a feeling that the blue is uh, earlier, but I have no reason to think that. But we needed, we needed some more Oracle, so I got another Oracle. Then I went to my uh, community center and among other things at the community center, there is a, um, a library and it has a books, a, a permanent book sale out in the front. And first thing I got was three issues of Country Living, British edition. Um, it sells for, <laughs> Price went up. Um, this is July 22. So. Huh, wow. Price is all over this, the place. Um, this is $12 magazine plus tax. And I got three of them for a dollar. And these are gorgeous magazines. Um, is this the first one? July... August. Here's the August one. Um, some beautiful 
images of gardens and so forth. Um, but where's, where's the article? Look at that. Look at that. Mm, artist journal. Um, She's interesting. This is a, or I read the article. She um, harvests bulrushes and then weaves it. Um, oh, where is it? Here we are. So here is the bee article that I wanted to harvest and so many lovely images. So I got those, very happy to have them and probably will be cutting them down. And then the last two were also at the rolling book sale. And I saw this one first, so I've got two. Toto Segovia and Toto Toledo. It's um, Spanish. These are Spanish books. Um, I don't know if you can tell there, but there is embossing from somebody's private library, which is kind of fun. I think this is going to be a perfect book to boil because these images they have that i don't know it's a funk it's a tone that comes from a point in time and these are what 80s 1978 yeah the 70s it just there is this feel of the 70s in this book um and just beautiful places and artwork and towers and Mmm, it's just really, really yummy. Very gothic-y. And like I say, I think it will be a perfect book to do some boiling of. Of which to do some boiling? I don't know how to say that. And then I got another one, which is Segovia. There was a third one that I left behind because this one also has a certain age to it. It's a lot of buildings and artwork um, that just made me go, ooh. Um, just really lovely architecture in here. And the, look at that. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Like the people, there were people that worked and lived in that building at one point. And sat in those chairs. Wow. And the and so the third book was very modern by comparison. And so I think these are probably provinces in Spain. And the reason why I say that is I think that's Spain there. It's France and Portugal. So I think that's Spain. And Segovia is that little dot there. So I think Toledo is somewhere here as well. Anyways, that is it for my haul. Small but uh, mighty. Hope you enjoyed. Hope your thrifting went as well as mine did. I'm just going to stack all this stuff up here. And then um, say goodbye until next time. Thanks so much. Please like and subscribe for more episodes. And always feel free to say this about that in the comments. Bye now.